Just maybe to take you a few steps back, once you remember before the Copa Copa Cola itself started, we had a media workshop where we were looking at ways how to cover uh, the, the competition itself and uh, it was uh, well attended by uh, many of you, our media colleagues, we would like to say thank you for that. And now, today we are just here to be able to honour what we initially said on that uh, first day. And uh, on that first day was to be able to um, award the media that have covered uh, our Copa Coca Cola uh, in the appropriate way that we could have wanted. But it went quite well. Copa Coca Cola Media Awards in Namibia. The awards, as you know, aim to recognize journalists who excel in reporting on the Copa Coca Cola soccer tournament across written, digital, photography, video, and audio. As per promise at the media workshop we had earlier this year, um, it has been proved that the media was for Copa Coca Cola, which is a grassroots football tournament, assisted journalists to participate in identifying, nurturing, and rewarding the best in young footballing talent. Your efforts have had the power to change the world, to inspire and unite people, to ensure a sustainable future for many people. You were able to tell the story of raw football talent, the milestones of the tournament achievements and how it keeps young boys out of mischief and bad behaviour, hold authorities accountable for their actions and protecting sport and the value it holds around the corner of the country. We did, you did very well and we, did, we do salute you. We witnessed the power of media as it is assisted to unlock the ambitious dreams and possibilities of world football stars. Together with media, Coca-Cola will continue to inspire young footballers to achieve their dreams. Media gives voice to the voiceless. Together we will nurture many Namibian football stars. Allow me now to congratulate today's award winners and wish them well in their careers. The overall winner will also win an expense, all-expense uh, trip paid to Kenya in Nairobi. Um, they will accompany the Copa Coca-Cola Dream Team who will go for a week-long 12-nation Copa Coca-Cola Africa Cup. We're all Coca-Cola countries that are participating in the Copa will be there and um, that will be the finals. Now my job was to adjudicate, was to look at all the stories based on the criteria that was announced at that first media workshop. It was to be developmental based, not necessarily Oshana beat Erongo 2-0 but really to dig out the story behind the story, the difference that this tournament made, the emotions that the boys showed, the coaches, the teachers, and I see the, the chairperson of KSSR, Coma School Sports Region, my, my brother and friend. Uh, I, I remember the Comas final, it was uh, up and down at the, at the Academia, uh, the Academia Sports Grounds. Uh, that's what the leader is, you, you take part in what People do. You don't just spectate from a distance. And that is really the, the, the excitement that the tournament generated. I've been, I've been fortunate to cover or to follow it in a few regions. Not, not all 14, but I've been at least to six regions following the tournament. And I've seen the excitement. It is the same. When, when Messi scores a goal for Barcelona, when Ronaldo scores a goal for Juventus, this 14-year-old boy, when he scores the, that goal, it is the same emotion that is displayed. The winning feeling is the same at whichever level. And that is really what this tournament was aimed at achieving, to make sure that there is joy, there is excitement, there is elation, there is pride in having helped your team to get to the final.
On behalf of Coca-Cola Beverages Africa and the Coca-Cola Company, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you for gracing this event. The Media Awards Ceremony, where we were honouring our media talent here in Namibia. Congratulations once again to all the winners.